Hi guys, this is Malvinus and today I'm going to show you the basic functions of the Gaia 2. Just an overview of the functions. If you're searching for more in-depth tutorials or sound design, you better check another video. But if you want a quick overview of the basic operations of the Gaia 2, this is the right place. From the menu button, you can access settings and functions unrelated to tones, such as system, file, utility, and master effects. By clicking on the value knob, you can access the submenus. To scroll through menu items, you can use the value knob, then you just push it to select. Speaking of the value knob, if you push it when you're on the home screen, you get this block diagram called sound screen, showing you the whole synthesis chain, which you can always navigate by scrolling through it with the value knob and pressing the same knob to select an item. You can also use the pad to navigate through the items, just as uh, on a notebook. Swipe vertically to move between submenu lines and tap to highlight a parameter. Once the parameter is highlighted, scroll vertically to change the value. Tap again to confirm. On the main menu screen, you can see some alphanumeric characters at the top left, showing the selected tone type. U stands for user, P for preset, M for model. Followed by the group A to H, bank 1 to 8, and tone 1 to 8. In addition to selecting tones using the buttons at the bottom of the panel, you can also browse by categories. You just press the button related to the ones that you are using, the one that is lit, and boom, you can choose to select a specific category and thus quickly find the tone you are interested in. Press the menu button to toggle between the list and the category selection. Now, let's quickly create a tone from scratch and then save it in the user memory. From the main menu, press init and then the value knob to confirm. When you're finished, press Shift and Menu. Select a free slot. Give your tone a name. Press Enter. Confirm, and you're good to go. The Gaia 2 sports model expansions as well, and it has the SH-101 model pre-installed by the factory. The basic operating functions and menus are the same as for the Gaia 2 sound engine. To switch to a model expansion, just long press the model button to open the list of model expansions available. Here I got only the SH-101, but you can buy other model expansions 
as the Jupiter 8 or the Juno 106. To play arpeggio, click on the On Setting button and select the mode. Up, down, up, down, random, note order. You can select the scale with the dedicated knob and the tempo. To access the arpeggio setting menu, press Shift and Arpeggio on. Gaia 2 Sequencer is a pattern sequencer. You have two ways to record notes, real time and step. First, you need to set the pattern length. Remember, you have up to 64 steps. The modes you have are forward, reverse, forward plus reverse, inverted, random, key trigger. More about this in the future videos. Press the rec button to access the standby screen. When ready, press the start-stop button to start recording. You get a one bar count in, then the recording starts. You also can record the motion of knobs and sliders. You can seamlessly switch between a real time recording and pattern playing without stopping the pattern playback. To step recording, press Rec and then Edit to step Rec Start. You can play the notes on the keyboard using tie and rest buttons. You can delete the notes while playing, pressing edit and clear. You can as well delete all the notes in the pattern by selecting Edit and Clear while the pattern is not playing. Now, let's talk about the Motional Pad. You can use the Motional Pad to manipulate the sound by assigning any parameters to X and Y axis for real-time control. Remember that any control you apply by the pad is applied as an offset of the original value. If you want to program the motional pad, you just do shift clear, then rack and draw your motion. Mm -hmm. 
You can choose from a template as well. And that's it! As I said, this was just an overview. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more content about specific topics. Thank you for stopping by and see you in the next video.